Hello, it's Pot64. Here we are, still in the return to Ostagar. Still collecting things and whatnot. We've got Merrick's, um, not Merrick's, uh, Kaylin's boots and shield for Alistair. And this, then we got the key to the chest. Oh, here's Kaylin's chest. Unlock. There's Merrick's blade and the secret correspondence. Yeah, true. Yet he had convinced the forces of Orlay to ally against the Darkspawn. Empress Selene was merely awaiting his response. A response that never came, and now never will, thanks to Logain's treachery. Never is a long time, Alistair. Give it time, and let cooler heads prevail. There will be peace between us yet. Well, I hope you live to see it, Gwyn. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let me give him the sword. He's using blight blood right now, which is a really good sword. Merrick's blade is actually not nearly as good, but I might want to use it. So, actually, let me check what my. Oh. And I hope the dark spawn don't. That was derpy. All right, so let me see. That's a six, and that's a six. That's equipable, so I'm gonna put that in my main hand. It's a enchantable. I'll have to enchant that next chance I get. Big critical. I might have run out of them though, so I might have to re do that. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Let's go this way first. What do we have in here? Lesser Health Poultice and Drake Skin Repeater Gloves. Once again, those would be really good for Liliana once I get her some more strength. She needs more strength. I haven't been giving her strength. Don't look now. But uh, now I will. Next time she levels. Watch out. Here we go. They're trying to flank me. Straight ahead. And I see you guys. You're all gonna get stunned in that choke point. Yeah. I'm gonna run in to do this. Alright, that's it. 32 silvers and change. The least of there, but I'm not. Yeah, there we go. Unlock a steel dark spawn longsword. Eh. 34 fire arrows, and damn it, Liliana. I've seen and touched Andras's ashes. Thou the holiest thing on this earth, the remains of the Maker's Chosen. It's quite remarkable, yes. I do not know if I am worthy to look upon her. Andras they fought for everyone. She belongs to us all. Yes, of course, but it still is something to be in awe of. That's what I was trying to do. Silverite Grey Warden Helmet? Nah. Death Root Extract. Okay. Is this the way to go? No. At least I don't think so. Just trying to see if I... I know we gotta find Kaylin's body at this point, and also there's still the rest of his armor. I guess I do have to backtrack that one. 
I'll figure it out. I always get lost in this place. Let's see. Let me look at this map a little more thoroughly. Okay, looks like the bridge is over there, so... Head that way. I know his body is near the bridge. It should be actually hung from the bridge. Yeah, here we are. This is correct. And there's the former king of Ferelden. The ogre that killed him will be fighting that eventually. Running off. He's like, nah, fuck you guys, deal with my minions. Alright. Yeah. So we got some undead here. And I'm off. Once we flushed the dark spawn from their holes and bought ourselves some time, we'll be back to see you to the Maker. Alright, let's move along. Remember, we came this way once before. Oh, let's get on with it then. Get to the tower. Never any shortage of these ones. Too fast for you! Alright, so let's do that. Alright, like again, they're a little worse than what he has, but it also has plus one armor and 15% critical and backstab damage, so I'm gonna give it to him. The bonuses outweigh the issues with them. So make sure there's nothing else to get. I did come a long way in fighting this battle. Plus, there's this area down here to check out. Okay, Alright, there's something here. Fire arrows. And fire bolts. Alright. Put those fire arrows right away.
tower if he shawls up there. Check over here. There's stuff to get. Silverite splint mail gloves. Silverite chain mail boots. Sylvan wood small shield. Alright, up to the tower. Which was the first real dungeon of the game, and we are I mean, returning there in a sense. The lower levels this time. Well, actually, I think this is a way to exit. Which is, yeah, you can exit this way. Nangle my way up there, and we go. Dragon Bone Great Sword. Uh, well, that would be more for like Agrim, but I think the sword he has is probably better than that. There's the Herlock General, which has Kaelin's Breastplate. Yeah, it's a little worse than what he has, but plus one armor and plus 15 physical resistance, which more than makes up for what he loses by equipping it. Sometimes you gotta go with the bonuses, you know? And there's the entrance to the Tower of Ishal. Oh, stealth shrieks. Thankfully shakes are squishy, so it doesn't take long. Robes don't help as much as you think against swords and axes. Keep your mages at a safe distance. Or, you know, give them armor. Just saying. Even if you don't do Arcane Warrior, you can still do... Light armor. Better than robes. <laughs> He's still running. setting up their buffs and they all look right. Good. And I'm off. Yes. These are the weakest dog spawn I've fought in a while. These are all grunts. Also, they're going to be taken down in one shot. Yes. Which is good because there's a lot of them. Oh, right. No girl over there. Oh! Oh, 
Troopers almost always drop something good, so let's see what they drop, if anything. Just a health poultice. Well, you can't have too many of those, at least there's that. Our friend the Necromancer is hiding over there. Oh, I can't get there from here. Well, we can see that there's a load of enemies in front of this door, so I'm just gonna... Darkspawn crossbow. What a weird thing to find in a cage. Alistair, get out of my way. Let's see. Six silvers and change. A red steel nug crusher. There's the darkspawn tunnels. You know where it leads. The friggin' hidey hole. Let's see. Silver eyed dagger. Also check in here. Okay, it's barricaded. Alright, so down into the dark spawn tunnels, which will lead down to the battlefield. That's how they got into the tower. Constitution increases a character's health and physical resistance. Mid-level dark spawn. is over that way. Spiders! There's one. For Jesse the Flame. Okay, dragon bone heavy plate armor. I might want to take a look at that, but I think I have better armor than that. A silver right metal kite ship. Digging that for, for Agra. But I think he has something better already. Actually, let me see what Win has too. She has the Legion stuff. There's that Dragon Bone stuff. It's equal to what she has, but what she has also has plus three willpower, so I'm going to keep what she has. Almost looks like an old Tervinter rune. Scribe studded leather helm. That's what Liliana has. Speaking of which, how close is she to leveling? I checked before, but obviously been in a bunch of battles since then. Much closer. Dragonthorn longbow. That's basic. I have a dragonthorn longbow, but mine has a whole lot of buffs on it, so. Same thing with Liliana, she has a unique one. Yes, alright, alright. We're out of my range for that. Big ol' emissary up there. Come on, guys, really? No, just because I'm a little better with range doesn't mean you can't attack them. Yes. Alright, fire arrows. You seem to be finding those like crazy. I help pull this in a dragon's bone scale boots. Not as good as what Wynn has, therefore definitely not as good as what Hogren has. I have a feeling there's going to be some spiders in this room as I walk across it. Yeah, you just had that look, you know? 
Yes. Unlock. Explosive bolts and four sil four actually that was four um Ooh, sovereigns and change. That Moving out into the battlefield. Unlock class specializations by learning them from friendly party members or by finding rare books. Yeah. Indeed. The Grey Wardens are once known for the Griffin Mounts on which they flew into battle. The Griffin numbers waned after the last blight, finally disappearing completely 200 years ago. Now there you have it. Okay, so here we are on the actual battlefield. Cutscene time. Remembering the battle, of course. Which is weird, he wasn't there for it, but he hears the dark spawn. There's our friend the Necromancer. And he's reviving the ogre that killed King Kaelin and that Duncan killed. Still, still has Duncan's weapons embedded. So this is risen over. This is a serious boss battle, so let's start off with the mark of death. This isn't part of the quest, but checking the Risen Ogre can get Duncan's Dagger and Duncan's Sword, which are excellent, excellent weapons. Um, let me see. Just think that they might be enchantable, though. That's really the deal breaker there. But Duncan's Dagger. Um, it's better than the dagger I have, and it has three enchantment spots as opposed to just two. So I'll definitely be using that once I... Well, I'll use it right now, actually. And Duncan's sword... Where'd it go? Is it down here somewhere? Why am I not seeing Duncan's sword? I see dead tide shanker. But... Oh, that's what I was using before. Did I not pick it up? I thought I picked them both up. Eric's blade, Duncan's dagger, dead tiger. Oh, there it is, Duncan. I can't equip it. I need more strength. It is better than what I'm ha what I have though. I might give that to uh, Alistair. It's better than what he has. Well, actually, it's equal to what he has. I don't know. I'm just. Like it has the natural plus four damage versus dark spawn, so I think I will switch it up. I'll wait till I'm back in camp. Let's check the necromancer's body too. Probably has Kalen's helmet on him. Yep, Kalen's helm. Before you start yapping, Alistair, let me just equip you with that. Yeah, it's 
it's equal to what he has, plus plus one armor and plus ten mental resistance. There it is. The last of them. It has been a long day. By the lines around your eyes, I dare say you look as old as I. Oh, snap. And if I may say so, my lady, you appear to be getting younger by the day. Be careful who you flirt with, young man. <laughs> when you wake up beside me tomorrow morning, I'll be back to remind you of your grandmother. younger man in my bed. Are all women this evil and conniving when they grow old? Just me, my dear. <laughs> Just me. I think you might have to walk back to where Kaylin is. I was hoping to put that in this video. But unfortunately, I really am out of time, and I don't want to walk all the way back there and go through the whole thing. So we'll do it that tomorrow. We'll give Kaelin a proper burial, finishing up Return to Ostagar quest. We're going to head back to camp to, you know, switch up some weapons and whatnot and some armor. That's going to be interesting. And then we're going to continue with the plot. And the first thing we'll do then is rescuing the queen from Arl, Arl House. So uh, we'll see you then.